hello hello welcome to another video here on my channel got another nature and art vlog coming at you today so settle in grab something hot and cozy and relax as we get into it I've been working digitally lately on a witch Sona piece, so a little um, kind of self-portrait character of what I imagine myself to be as a witch. This is actually also going to be my self-portrait for 2020. I try and draw a self-portrait in some form every year just because I think it's a cool exercise to do and it's really fun to look back on each year and how they evolve or just what my idea for the year was. In 2020, is so <laughs> insane and has been so rough that I'm just gonna fully embrace being a fantasy plant witch with my skullcap familiar as this year's self-portrait. I'm working in Clip Studio Paint for this piece, which is incredibly new to me. This is actually the first piece I've ever painted using this program. Prior to this, I've only ever used Procreate for digital work. So I bought CSP when it was on sale earlier this year. And after acquiring this tablet, I now have been learning and practicing digital drawing on something other than an iPad, but it's been a complete joy to use. I am constantly distracted by the birds out the window during the day, one of the advantages to living rurally and then working right next to a window. So I'm always looking out at them, hopping about in the backyard. My daughter, who adores nature and all living things, has now built them this little bird seed shrine and it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. She just used some scrap wood we had from various projects over the summer and assembled the cutest little shrine and she has been so excited to see if birds will come and use it. The first day the shrine was up, they were very cautious. They, as you can see, were hopping all around it, but no one wanted to get on it or in it to eat, but they were definitely curious. On day two, we got a visit from this gorgeous cardinal who has actually been coming almost daily now, which is very exciting. And he was quite curious as well.
And then finally, after three days, this happy little burb ventured their way in. And now, all the birds love it. This is one of the regular neighborhood cats who is often found in our backyard. She's actually incredibly friendly too, which is great. She loves people and pets and has been spayed, which is a good thing. Actually, a lot of the local strays have been spayed with TNR programs, which is great. Um, hopefully we don't run into any backyard bird carnage with her, but I'll, I'll keep my eyes out so hopefully my kiddo won't see. But so far there's been no issues. We've been exploring new places to walk as a family during the pandemic and trying to avoid a lot of the, you know, major hiking and walking trails. So this time we went out on some abandoned train tracks and it was absolutely beautiful just to see what we could see as we walked along. This is the final painting session for the Spice Illustrations, and by the time you watch this, the shelves have already been redone. I can't wait to do the before and after reveal in an upcoming video. It was such a joy to work on this project in my free time, and it makes me smile every time I see them in the kitchen. So these are all the ones I painted this session and now once they've fully dried down I'm going to go over them with uh, some pen work a little more and then they'll be ready to attach to the bottles.
recently redid this little section behind me where I worked during the day, so I figured I'd give you a little candlelit tour of it for the end of the video. As always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe if you enjoy the videos you see here, and comment below on anything you'd like to see going forward in the future, whether it's art related, nature related. I'm curious to know what you guys find most enjoyable, so please do let me know. Take care everyone, be well, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.